Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am back to share with you guys my haul from um, Hobby Lobby. And of course I had to go back and pick up a few things um, because I saw um, some videos as well as I saw um, Ramona's video sharing that they do have additional markdowns more than what they had before. So I did go back and I was able to find <clears throat> more goodies. So I did pick up the composition book by Webster's Pages, and these are um, these are pretty cool. Um, I picked up two of them. That's all they had was two, but I wanted to share with you guys what they look like in the inside. So these are for planning, and they're in composition book style, and I just thought these were really cool. And even if you don't have the cover for this, just to have this sitting on your desk would would be great you know so I'm going to actually take these and use these at work so I did pick up two of those they were regular price $9.99 and they were on clearance for $2.50 so not a bad deal I can't get that back in the pack right now so I will put that to the side and move along um, I also picked up some of these cinch um, we are memory keeper cinch um, coils and these were 75 cent each I do have a cinch as well as a bind it all and so those are really fun to use when you want to make some um, little books or journals um, I also was able to pick up the pinwheel attachments these were a dollar 25 cent I do have the pinwheel um, maker you know the little punch board that makes the pinwheels so I went on and picked these up because summertime is coming and I thought those would be really cute to make for birthday parties or whatever so I did pick that up um, I did find the cover for the Webster pages um, journals and this particular cover did come with one composition book and this just has the lines in it and it also comes with slots where you can put cards. Um, there's pockets here. And then there's also a pocket back here and a pocket here. And then this little charm where you can put your pen right here. So it's really cute. And it does not say hello. It's just that's just on the plastic. Um, so that you can use your little decals and stuff to um, put on here to decorate. But it does have a gold heart right here on the actual um, cover so I thought that was really really cute so I went on and picked that up um, I did find this and I figured I can use this with my um, cinch or my bind it all to put little books together or whatever if I wanted to and that was a dollar and 25 cents I found um, this paper here and it is the goodie bag paper that you can use to, um, for those goodie bag makers. But I'm just going to use it because it's glassine paper. I can just use it for whatever. And I do have dies to make little bags. So I figured that would be a great um, buy to have. These are regular $9.99. There's 24 glassine paper sheets in here. Four of each of these patterns right here. So really, really nice. I did find um, some Carpe Diem uh, inserts, and these were $4. And this is like more like the um, working out type of planner inserts, fitness insert set is what it's called. So I went on and picked that up for $4. And then I also picked up the folders, and the folders were $1.37. And it comes with those three pocket folders right there. And then I also picked up the dividers, and these were um, $1.75 each, and it comes with six, these six patterns right up here. So I went on and picked that up as well. I'm going to just put some of this stuff back in the bag, and I'll show you guys what else I got. This is a little project that I'm working on. Let me move that out of the way. So I also picked up this um, punch, and this is for, it's supposed to be for the alphabet punch, um, punch board. I did open it up and I did use it, but I didn't bring the punches over with me. So 
let me share with you guys why I actually picked this up because I don't own the uh, letter punch board but I thought this would make the cutest tab for your planners journals whatever all you have to do is just put a little bit of glue on the back of there and use this as a tab and I thought that would make a really really cute and quick tab for your planners and journals and stuff so that's why I went on and picked that up and it was only three dollars and seventy five cent and it does work great so I was happy with that purchase I also um, picked up this huge fox punch and it is three inches and it is a nice size punch and this one was five dollars so I went on and picked that one up I also picked up this in bloom acrylic bead mix and this is so pretty and the reason why I really really wanted it is because of the hearts there are some really pretty um, uh -oh, I'm gonna have beads everywhere but there's some really pretty beads in here but the heart beads is what sold me so look at the the heartbeat and you can string it through there and I thought this would be really cute on a traveler's notebook just string it through and have that as the wraparound enclosure you can also use these heart beads and these string up through the top through the bottom and these can be little charms and stuff like that and then of course you can use the other beads as well and so for two dollars for this huge set of beads was not a bad price at all I didn't think so so I went on and picked that up the other colors were not on sale but the teal was on sale um, thanks to my girl here on YouTube, 504 Pretty Things, Miss Kendra. She shared all of these really pretty stamps that she got, foam stamps. And I found these over where the um, more of the stuff that you would do for household um, decorating, like the household stencils and stuff like that. These were over in that area and they were $0.32 cent each. And so I went on and picked those up for mixed media and different things like that. I thought those were so pretty. Um, I did also pick up this one and this is um, You Are Loved and it's a stamp as well and it's 32 cents. Um, I did find this. I believe Happy Mail Queen shared this on her channel. And so I went on and picked this up as well and um, I picked up two packs. They were 50 cents each. And then I also picked up these staples and these are for the um, staple the punch board and these were 50 cents I found some more of the um, the inks and so I went on and picked those up and these were a dollar 24 cent and this one was 99 cents not marked but the girl did give them to me for 99 cents so I do have a few of the regular watercolors and then these are the glitter colors so I picked up all the ones that I didn't have the first time that they still had left and I also finally picked up this stamp. I've been picking this up and putting it back for the last couple weeks or so. And I went on and just caved and bought it because I love this stamp and thought it was super cute. I also picked up this punch. This is a ribbon punch and you can punch this on your cards or whatever and then thread ribbon through. So I went on and picked that one up. These are the, um, the disc punch inserts for the um the punch that I just shared with you guys on my last haul video from Michaels and they make like the happy planner looking disc um punches and this was at Hobby Lobby for $9.99 and I used the 40% off coupon so I got it for six dollars. I did pick up this handmade um stamp and this is metal stamping and this one was two dollars. I picked up one of these Happy Planner Medium Disc, and these are like the teal color, and these were a dollar and twenty-five cent. I found this little heart and bird um, stencil set, and I just thought it was really cute, and it was only fifty cents, so I went on and picked that up. And the rest is just this papery or paper, the papery shop it was a dollar fifty for this little roll of really pretty um, white with gold and perfect dots on it I love that and then this one says life is an adventure so that is about it that is all that I picked up from Hobby Lobby um, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to go back, but you know, Ramona keeps doing those videos and sharing all the goodies that we can find in Hobby Lobby. And, you know, I just enjoy going there and finding all this stuff for the low. So that is about it, guys. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.